things there. What the hell is this? You're still reading this stuff? It just doesn't make sense. It happened so suddenly. Damn, Harry, you know exactly how this happened. I can't be the man. We all knew it was coming. So? It was still off for people. You remember Ada, don't you? Eddie? Come on, man. He on Mad Horse. We were both in the room when we came on the news that he... That was just one guy, though. Plus, he owned the place. That has nothing to do with the high rates. I guess. What about Shutter? Just another coincidence. Look, it's more than just a coincidence, and I am sure about that. And I think there's something we can do about it. We're not opening grants. Come on, why not? Because it's illegal, and even if we are able to turn a profit, we'll get caught. Look, you're able to run the business, I'm able to keep people entertained. I think we can really make this thing work. Oh man, it won't work. We won't be able to pull it off. Sure we can! Look, the people have got in mind, it won't be a problem that it's illegal, alright? Absolutely not! I'm not letting those freaks in my house. Look, when all is said and done, some sketchy twins will be the least of your worries, alright? The least of my worries? What will be my next worry? Well, I didn't mean you'd be... Look, you'll be happy. We'll both be happy because of how successful this is going to be for the both of us, alright? How can you be so certain? Trust me, I'm right. You win? What do we need? First, we're gonna need the Big One Twins. Take and talk. These two are crazy, but they are artists in the gambling world. Afternoon, gentlemen. Boy, you really don't recognize me? All right, one second. Harry! Hold up. Grant from Mad Horse? The one and only. Damn, man. I, I thought you left for Europe or something. You really had something going for you. Well, uh, I've moved on. I'm actually opening my own uh, underground casino. You two want it? You for real? You know it. Okay. You know it. Uh, we're asking $200 per person. Uh, all the information is on the slips, and we'll be meeting on Wednesday night. See you boys then. Next we got Kid Lou. He's a total criminal, but he is an elite gamer. We might need to bring Mr. Blue along too. Apologies, I expected you to have some sort of a grand entrance. Uh, that's my bad. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, anyways, we're uh, we're starting a little game house of our own, and we would love for you to to make an appearance. All the information is on there. Uh, we're asking two hundred dollars per person. Okay. We'll see you Wednesday night. There won't be any law enforcement, I presume. Of course not. Good. You fellas can see yourselves out. You sure about these guys? Of course. They're definitely. 
Don't worry about it. How long till they get here? Hi, right, in a minute. You ready? Of course. Welcome, gentlemen. Exactly. Right this way. You two can sit wherever. Uh, everyone else will be here soon. So, what got you two started in gambling? Uh, you know, so. Uh, of course! <laughs> uh, may I please have your envelopes? My man Harry almost slipped it yet. That must be the rest of them. Welcome, gentlemen, to Grand's Casino. <laughs> um, we're, uh, <clears throat> uh, we're... Who the hell is that? I don't know. Hey, is this Grant's? Um. You have the fee? What, the $200? Yeah, I got it. Can I have it? Welcome, gentlemen, to Grant's Casino. Uh, we're gonna start off with a nice little game of blackjack, and assuming you guys have any money left over at the end of this, <laughs> uh, we'll keep going and having the night go on from there. Uh, obviously, tonight, I will be your dealer, so let's have some fun, fellas. God damn it! You two rigged it! I want my money back! What? No! And give me your watch! No! You stubborn hey, bitch! Hey. Ease off, gentlemen! Okay. You have your money at the beginning of next session. Uh, same price as this week, and same time as this week for next week. Have a great evening, gentlemen. You know, you can leave. Hey, what is it? Come back this way. So who the hell are you? I was on the other side of the street when you were talking to Richard Brady. Who? And Brady dropped a slip, so I decided to stop by. It's a nice set you guys have here. Tick and talk. You don't think that those are their actual names, right? It's because of the watch. <laughs> but Joel, I want to tell you, you have a really nice setup here. I just want to talk to you about a couple small design stuff you got going on. 
No, oh, absolutely. Here, you can go to bed if you want. <laughs> but I am absolutely loving you though, Ellie. Let's talk. What do you think? You ready for tomorrow night? Yeah, more or less. You and Alan didn't go all out, do you? You'll see. So, you're bringing waitresses? You know it. Should we be scaling down? Last week was a bit hectic, to say the least. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Gentlemen, impeccable timing. Seat yourselves, you know where to go. Picking the game for us. It'll either be something violently risky or something relatively tame. Do you have any ideas up your sleeve? Uno, all in. Jesus. All right. Uh, best of luck, gentlemen. May the best man win. Uh, ladies, you can deal. You really let the waitress pick. You gotta put it on a show sometimes. Yo, we really need to scale this down. On top of the drinks, the girls, and the food, and all your aesthetic stuff, we're hardly making a profit. Bigger is better, my friend. Besides, what's the harm in looking nice? When it takes up the entirety of the budget, that's when the harm is. Look, buddy, you gotta ease up. The only thing that can be bad for business is scaling down. So we do that, we're just nothing. It's just that I- Udo! Look, we'll talk later. I gotta go and watch this. Yeah, we'll talk later. Congratulations, my man. Would you like to take home your winning card? Absolutely. Well, gentlemen, this was certainly a riot. Uh, same time next week. Uh, maybe we'll break talk streak, yeah? Uh. Good night, everyone. Good night, gentlemen. Oh. You really shouldn't have an obvious favorite. Jesus, man, just give me a minute, all right? Son of a bitch better know what happened to my goddamn brother. Talk's dead. It's because of us. How do you know? Why else would someone put the winning card on his forehead? Oh my... God, no. Alright, look. I've got a plan for next week, but you just gotta trust me. You don't know how badly I want to say no, but honestly, I'm down for anything.
wicked. Don't come. I don't trust these guys. Alright? I'll tell them you're sick. Hey, man. For all your troubles and lack of winning, me and the kid want to get you a little gift. Thanks, man. This is really nice. Each of your cards, I would like you to let me know where you think talk is. Now, you all had much more optimistic answers on the truth, but thing is, talk's dead. You! Wait, what? Look at his goddamn wrist! Harry, don't you let anyone out that damn door because I'm certain it was not Allie. You're only saying it because he's your favorite. No, I have faith in him. Allie, where did you get that watch? Did you kill him? Was it Lou? Put the knife down, Blue. Look, we can all settle this very peacefully and still have some fun, right? No, I don't think we can. Look, Grants can't die this quick. It was spectacular. For you, maybe. I'm talking too much of my money, and you just let it happen. No one else needs to die, man. Look, we can keep going on. We can keep having fun. You're done. This is all done. This has been Grants. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Same time next week. Let me stay, Joel. This is really quite stellar. Well, I woke up to the sound of silence of guns. We're cutting like knives in a fist fight. And I saw you with a bottle of wine in your head and the curtains Your heart like the 4th of July You swore and said we are not We are not shining stars Yes I know I never said we are Though I've never been through hell like that I've closed enough windows to know you can never look back Sinking like a stone Carry on May your past be the sound Or your feet upon your ground